Going on to you Pisces out there, you have the Fool, the Three of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Um, so, um, y'all are on a brand new journey. A lot of you Pisces are healed and y'all are finally putting yourselves back out there once again. You're back out there on the hunt trying to find who you can find to get to know um you know better you know yourself a little bit better and you know that what you're what you're not willing to take and people are going to have to come to you with uh respect if they don't a lot of you pisces will leave them alone the three of wands represents and you're stepping in with respecting your time respecting yourself as well as respecting the other person and they better they better show up and these people better show you some form of value because if they if they don't you pisces are all too happy to be single while it is that you look for someone that could potentially be a very good fit for you right whether you're being single or whether you're in a relationship who you are you're not going to stop being confident just because you're not in a relationship at all you're going to continue to be yourselves regardless of who's trying to guilt trip you or whatever or whatever it's not even going to work and not only that too but you're also coming in with options as well if a person decides that they want to play that game of because all anyone can do is make it seem like all anyone can do is make it seem like nobody wants you and if you don't have inner peace which you pisces do have inner peace but it, let's just say if you didn't have inner peace if you don't right that will be oh my gosh if you don't have inner peace you're always some stupid stuff going on outside fam like what is wrong with some of these people but anyway sorry about that right all types of goofy stuff but if you don't have inner peace that's all it is that they can do, is try to get you to think that you being by yourself is the worst possible thing in the world to do. And they reject you. But what happens when you Pisces don't care about being rejected, you just care about being better. Not better than them, you just care about becoming better, a better version of yourself, right? That's confident, but humble at the same time. The right type of confidence, right? Not overconfident, but the right type. Then the games that they play, trying to leave you by yourself and making it seem like they don't have a problem leaving and all that other type of nonsense, then that can't really work on you. The Three of Swords, and, and this is where it is that their heart will get broken and not yours. Because your heart can't, your heart can't get broken. You I mean, you know, you can get a little bit disappointed. But your heart can't get broken anymore from from anyone else because you know how to go and you've been dealing with yourself spiritually for a few months now actually for a while more than six months literally at the top of the year right straight up and down uh january the first week in january you uh pisces have been going on a spiritual journey since i've read right and we're literally in august coming to approaching mid to late august as a matter of fact the eighth month of the year so a lot of you are not gonna a lot of you are not gonna get your heart broken a lot of you pisces are not gonna get your heart broken because you've dealt with yourself spiritually so none of the games that someone can play making it seem like they rejecting you is gonna hurt rejection hurts because Right. When you get enough people rejecting you, it's it's a play on your own confidence, because a lot of the times they rejected you. Most of the times when people reject you, you have to understand that most of the times I'm not saying all the time, because sometimes people reject you for real. And there's a real reason behind it. But sometimes when people reject you, they reject you because they're trying to mess with you. Stupid. And the thing is, is that then your own mind starts to play on itself. Like, okay, I'm by myself. And then if you can't live with yourself, if you're not, if you haven't dealt with yourself spiritually, you won't be able to live with yourself as a single individual. 
because you'll be you'll be pressed to be in a relationship like oh my gosh how come i can't get in one because you're not taking care of yourself spiritually first to be able to be okay with being single right and then when you're not okay with being single what's going to happen is is that when people tell you no or they reject you the rejection is just going to get worse and worse and worse till you start doing things you know what i'm saying like 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 paying for stuff trying to appease somebody by leading with your wallet and all that other type of mess and all that's going to do is have them like take advantage of the situation by now by now just a, just sitting up but they just sitting with with their feet kicked up and coasting and allowing you Pisces to do to to do everything for them while they're doing nothing or very little bit and they think that that's a good deal and all this other type of nonsense and the thing is that the tower and the, the ten of wands represents a lot of you Pisces are okay with moving on with nothing because y'all been here before if a person rejects you that pales in comparison or is very small in comparison to a lot of the things that you Pisces been through anyway. So who cares? That's the one, th that's one of the things that another person who calls themselves rejecting you, right? That's one of the worst mistakes that they could possibly make. Because if they reject you and they don't really have any kind of real reason behind it, they're gonna look stupid because you Pisces don't care. You know how much stuff you Pisces probably been through hell and back. So now all of a sudden, what? The person, them telling you, you know, you Pisces done did a spiritual cleanse. Y'all been, right? Healing yourselves spiritually. What could the poss what, what could this person possibly do? Call you ugly? Why would that even work? Right? It's not. So the thing is, is that you have no problem getting rejection or getting someone that says no and moving forward but you don't want them to show you any kind of attention after you've moved forward because they don't have a place here they they wasted they squandered their opportunity being nothing but a jump off and because they're nothing but a jump off that's the category that they're in now because they want to stay there. They want to live there. So then they're jump boss. The King of Swords and the Ten of Cups is about how you and don't spend don't spend any kind of money too. Don't spend a lot of money either. If you want to spend money, spend money, but don't be spending a hot to toe or a bunch of of money un, un unnecessary amounts for no reason just to get the person to like you. The Ten of Cups, the King of Swords, is if the two of you have similar value systems. If the two of you do not have a similar value system, don't even waste your time. And how you get to know them is by talking to them, asking them questions, finding out a little bit about them a little bit at a time, right? When, when, when y'all see each other, find out about them. Don't spend all your time talking on the phone with them. Find out about them face to face and all of that. Um, the King of Swords, learn how to be cold as much as you possibly can. Learn how to be cold. You know, and what I mean when I say cold, I'm talking about learn how to be more indifferent, right? Learn how to be much more and I'm sure you Pisces don't have a problem doing this because y'all are mutable signs. Learn how to be what you already are, mutable. Learn how to be flexible. If a person is gonna take you seriously, get to know them and get to know them seriously. If a person starts acting like they don't have any kind of real value or whatever the case may be, okay, then they're in the jump off category. And some of you Pisces may not even care to have them as a jump off. You may just look at it like that's gross and decide to actually get up on out of there, right? <laughs> and and move on to someone brand new. I was about to say something greasy, but never mind. The thing is that the Ten of Cups and the, and the Eight of Pentacles is about two, because so many people play too many games. 
They only want a person up until, not before, but they only want a person until after they've been dubbed. And that's the stupidity of it because by that time, especially if the person really values their time, they've missed out on an opportunity that they could have had being an idiot. This is why the game is so stupid and so dangerous. Not having any kind of intentions with you, Pisces, now you, Pisces, can afford to tell them no, no thank you if they were to ever come back, right? And they better not ever come back. Because when you, Pisces, tell them no, the difference is they were playing a game. The difference is, right, hoping that you would contact, uh, contact them back. The differences between you and them, Pisces, is that you actually mean it. You'll tell them, nah, no thank you, and move on with the rest of your life like that. And you will do it with good reason. You try to talk to them. They played with your time. They played mind games with you. You basically went off, healed, did your own thing. Them goofy behinds came back. You said no. Now they want to act like they got a problem with you saying no to them. Shoes on the other foot. Who cares about them though? Hey, score is one to one. No rematches. <laughs> right? The temperance and the five of pentacles now is about, and the best way for you to do that is to stay patient. and pay attention to how they moving. Because what I am seeing here overall is that y'all need some, y'all are looking for preparation. Y'all are out here singling, right? Single and ready to mingle, right? Mingling. And y'all are doing it with purpose. Y'all are looking to actually get to know other people with purpose. What I'm telling you Pisces, right? Is the preparation. Sometimes in these readings, you don't always need to be in a particular situation with somebody currently. Sometimes you just need the preparation. You need to be told how to, one of the ways I should say, not the entire way, but one of the many ways you can be a little bit more prepared for what's coming to you. This is what this reading is about. It's about preparation. Yeah, you out here, you getting to know others, and they think that they're trying to, they think that they're breaking your heart by telling you no and all of that. But y'all are not necessarily speaking to one particular person. Y'all are out here test, not even testing, but checking the temperatures, talking to many different people, trying to see, and, and you're getting some no's. You're getting some number exchanges for some of you Pisces, right? Or for a lot of you. Right, you're getting some no's, you're getting some number exchanges, right? You call in some, some of these people are flaking. You're getting you're getting mixed results. The results are not necessarily consistent. And there's nothing wrong with the results being inconsistent because everybody experiences that. Right? There's this big there's this big secret of you gotta look smacks. You gotta you gotta look smacks. You gotta be as handsome or as pretty as you possibly can. Listen. It don't matter if you if you looks if you look smacks or if you don't. The people who look smacks still have problems. I'm telling you, I'm telling you the game. They still have problems. So the situation for you, Pisces, is don't worry about looks maxing for another person. You Pisces are fly and y'all are out here looking good and feeling good and you're healthy because it needs to be something that you Pisces wanted to do for yourself. You did it because you needed a new a new spiritual form. You needed to reform or i.e. reinvent yourself. And you Pisces did that. You Pisces did that successfully. Congratulations. You know, don't ever reinvent for another person just because another person dumped you. Now you want to make them jealous. Don't ever want to make anybody jealous because there's no point in that. What would be the point? of deliberately doing better for yourself just to make somebody jealous. You live that means that you you haven't learned anything. You haven't learned anything. You try you allowing this person to triangulate you. Right? To make you they whole to make them your whole world. You're doing it for them. You're not doing it because you legitimately doing it for you. You're doing it for them. You love you want to see what will be the look on their face 
when they see you pull up in your fly car, whatever the case may be, they jealous. You getting off on them being jealous. Don't even do that. Do it because you legitimately wanted to do it. They just don't happen to be around when you are doing it. So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles. The Two of Cups, the Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands. To clarify the uh, Five of Pentacles. Yep. So the Two of Cups and the Lovers is that they have to bring something to the table just like they expect you Pisces to bring something to the table. You know, the Seven of Pentacles. If they're not willing to go Dutch with you, right? Some of these people that you're talking to as you're getting to know them, if they're not willing to go Dutch with you or at the very minimum call you, then it's a dub or automatically right then and there. Because you're, you're, you're finding out everything that you Pisces need to know about them. That these people are selfish and they're not necessarily looking to give even though they're in a relationship they're looking to only take and you pisces are the host and they're the parasite that's not how things are supposed to go for you the knight of swords and the knight of wands is about you want to make sure that a person actually wants to spend time with you so if they're willing to go dutch as you're getting to know them if they are responsive right and and they are not just responsive but interactive when you are talking to them these may this may be a good match for you but for right now my suggestion for you pisces is to keep looking because you haven't found that person just yet you're just getting your feet wet as of right now you're getting some mixed signals from different people so that's it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video um, there's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website where there's all the ways to get a personal reading from me, birth chart reading, books that I have that are on Amazon, as well as my merch, sweatshirts, hoodies, uh, sweatpants, t-shirts. And, uh, we're at 13,000 subscribers. Shout outs to all of you wonderful subscribers. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So please, I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel to as big as I possibly can make this YouTube channel to as successful as I possibly can become. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell and set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.